Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, it's October, so what are we going to be up to? And uh, please uh, remember to hit the like or dislike button before you leave today and maybe consider subscribing. And uh, this uh, video uh, will be the last. I may upload once a month. I get waylaid in trying to uh, produce content so I'll be uploading at the beginning of each month just to see and let you know what I've been up to unless I need to do a video for my own blog for myself so that I know what I've been doing and when um, all the strawberry runners will be removed out of here clearing everything out hopefully he says hopefully the uh, green cabbage will go to seed and the red cabbage will go to seed but I do need to prepare this bed uh, for some giant cabbages uh, uh, for next year for Malvern all the new ras uh, blackberry runners or runners shall we say new growth uh, uh, appearing all the way along so over Christmas New Year I'll be thinning out some of the three-year-old wood and tying uh, this nice new green growth in and then hopefully we'll get another nice crop the autumn fruit and raspberries are finished we won't be doing nothing with those until again the new year We'll let all the energy go back into the crowns, back down to the roots, so they can keep producing like they have done, and still are, occasionally. Nice little snacks, excuse me. Again, as the rhubarb dies back, we should stop picking rhubarb, end of July. I sneak a bit in for Malvern, won't hurt. But as it dies back, we'll let it just all die back and then we'll clear clear up all the old leaves and then we'll add uh, a little bit of manure later on. Uh, the season will tell us when they're ready. I've got four drums there that need cutting. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put taps on them. And I've got to do, uh, I've got to cut those off, those flaps off. It didn't work. So I'm going to cut them off and I'll tie them back in next year. The giant vegetable potato grower, Clive, said the condor won't grow in compost that's got perlite or vermiculite in. So when these trees come out, I'm going to rotate this up, scrape some of this rubbish off, put it elsewhere. And uh, a lot of this soil here is virgin, never been used or touched. When I first got this uh, allotment started, that's hashtag starting a new allotment. So we're gonna grow the potatoes, giant potatoes here. And what we don't use for showing, we'll use for eating. Uh, I'm going to get uh, rid of all this here. Open this space up for storage. And uh, we'll let those fruit next year see how they do and if they're good we'll uh, move them uh, elsewhere but uh, we do need places to store stuff uh, the blocking 14 comfrey uh, it's uh, kicked in yet again I cleared a lot of this up while I got my giant carrots out and uh, we'll let this die back I might pinch a bit more out and put it into the compost bin but uh, as for the rest, we'll just let it die back and clear it up and then give it uh, a nice dressing uh, of manure. I topped up my bed, uh, my compost bins, we'll see those shortly on plot three. So now I know exactly how much found compost I've got now to uh, build uh, the uh, extra pallet collar uh, raised beds. We've got some here, we've got some on plot three and we've got some more here. These will be uh, the main strawberry beds. We'll be using the uh, grow tents, well, the framework and the brackets 
to create a cover for these similar to what you saw first of all with the green netting the uh, sweetheart strawberries grew really well there so I'm going to replicate it here uh, these are new and uh, they've dropped right down so what I'm going to do is take all these strawberries out here put them somewhere safe take those out of there clean them up top this bed up bring them across and then when we get to the end we'll use any runners etc and finish uh, all these beds off shan't be putting anything in there because the tree just sapped all the um, moisture out there were strawberries in there there isn't any more weed still love it glad I got the wildlife wild garden half sorted that looks uh, really nice and uh, no doubt we'll be having a, a fire and we're going to continue the pallet collar beds across here move the seat in and squeeze as many barrels in there as we can and we've had loads and loads of rain and this one is the these now are almost full and considering we've only got these two sheets here that has done uh, really well we went so long without any rain and like I say it's been rain 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 I need fresh wood chips so it looks like I'm going to have to buy some oh dearie dearie me these beds have also sunk so I'll, I'll do the same again and uh, We'll take them out, put them back in, pick the best. No doubt this barrel here off the uh, greenhouse is full as well. Oh, nearly. Um, I've got a tap here, which I turn on. It runs around and uh, into the pond. And uh, I'd left it running, didn't I? Well, not running, but <laughs> it never filled up. It's catching up now. I'll be glad when I can get this asparagus out so we can get more barrels here connected up so that we'll have copious uh, amounts of water to keep these strawberries and uh, the barrel full for the uh, wick guttering uh, system, which has worked really well. And the Christmas potatoes have uh, bounced back. Uh, just got to be careful now how I uh, pick uh, some of the peppers. Some of the peppers are a little bit too warm for me and uh, Mrs K but uh, I do know the varieties I am going to grow and I'm going to grow more long chilies for the Malvern Autumn Show so they'll be going in here but uh, hopefully we can keep these going as long as we can and then harvest some on Christmas morning I've been having a good sort out when I can uh, all these uh, fixings here I'm going to keep those but there's others I'm going to get rid of uh, as with the uh, guttering over there it's not hurting nothing there but I do need to uh, get all this sorted because when we started hashtag starting new allotment we got right back to the wall cut everything back but now as you can see it's growing really well and there's lots of berries there for our feathered friends to feast on over the, the winter I need uh, to get the uh, nettle sorted I've got the uh, bottom part of the IBC, I've got the wire mesh litter basket, a waste paper basket, so we can sieve it all, but uh, I need to get that done and I also need to uh, take that uh, con comfrey concentrate from the, uh, the pipe and we'll dismantle it and get the comfrey cake out, that's what's all the compacted material and we uh, dry that and blend it and add it to our potatoes but uh, not bad considering I was a little bit lapsed it's not been a very good year for me for having time but hopefully over the winter I can catch up and we can get plot one looking something like let's pop over to plot three this poor gate I was going to replace this three years ago <laughs> and uh, we've still got plenty of weeds as well on uh, plot three this is the fruit cage I'm going to be taking out the uh, 
blueberries if they sign show signs of life even if they don't show signs of life we'll be taking those up in the dormant period and uh, this cage will all be sorted out again uh, in the uh, new year January time possibly uh, when uh, I'm off uh, over the Christmas period but I do need to get in to get on top of the weeds because if we let them go to seed we've got weeds for seven years but uh, fresh wood chips will help well this uh, Swiss chard is taking a long time to go to seed I might just trim it up a little bit but we've taken out some of the bits we've uh, manured and added compost to bring it back up again because the, all my beds are reasonably new but they are maturing nicely so we just add a top dressing and uh, I might just give them a tickle with my hands but uh, basically we're no dig and uh, I might uh, build a frame like we have done over there uh, to hold the asparagus up uh, have it as a permanent feature but this is still holding its own and we shan't cut it back until it uh, dies off uh, properly Sim similar to that stem there we had some nice tomatoes from the volunteers the peas didn't grow but the tomatoes did so we left them to it a little bit of tidying up done down here we got rid of all the pots and everything else and uh, whoops and those high winds have uh, flopped the uh, artichokes over but as you can see look <laughs> they're facing the right way now so that'll look queer when I stand them up before I leave today and we'll have a little look here to see if we've had any luck with the turnips we've got so oh, they're not too bad we might be able to get something out of them the uh, Swiss chard needs cutting right back so it reveals the uh, nice clean leaves instead of having the, the ones with the uh, little bit of uh, fungal on them um, I'll remember what it is in a minute maybe I should just mow these weeds um, I didn't get I, I done didn't do this bit but I've done you see that bit there we've done that but the weeds are still coming back we've got a hoe regular but it's been so wet so uh, mildew doesn't matter uh, let's have another look at the, uh, the Brussels sprouts I've got a few there oh these look quite this looks quite uh, healthy again it's uh, grown out Oh, well, definitely. Oh, yes, they're coming on nicely now. And uh, but look at the mess. Never mind. I'd certainly like to have a few uh, other red ones, but we will get what we get. And we'll uh, have a tidy up uh, and get the uh, purple. Is that the uh, sprouting broccoli? Yeah, claret sprouting broccoli here. That needs uh, supporting. We might have to sacrifice these uh, sprouts here just to get them vertical and it uh, looks like we'll be okay for some winter stews with the uh, turnips yeah I've got the net over my head but I did get some really nice carrots out of here for the uh, Malvern autumn show but uh, I'm definitely not going to be uh, growing uh, vegetables uh, for show the, leave it to the experts who want to spend a bit of money on getting the ground right and uh, just a thank you to all my viewers and creators who came up and said hello to me at the uh, Malvern Autumn Show uh, many thanks and any the new subscribers uh, after we had our chats the beans are about done now and uh, we'll try and get another head uh, to save for seed off those uh, nice uh, poppies I'll keep these going as long as I can and the variety is uh, sunking 
and these are the pallet collars that are going to be going here so we'll have another eight uh, beds here for uh, the beans and whatever else the low low the high growing crops because we don't want these in the ra high raised raised beds but one pallet collar high and i think they'll uh, work wonders and uh, i think i ought to take that head off now especially while it's so damp and uh, we ended up getting some uh, uh, nice uh, long beans uh, it's all about timing and uh, I would say they're not quite long enough anyway but uh, they're about two weeks late but uh, that's how it goes just waiting for these to go to seed and dry out a little bit more whether they will now at this time of the year we'll have a little look over there shortly uh, the uh, polytunnel tanks are now uh, overflowing so ooh, can we remember without looking so we've got nearly uh, well, 6,800 litres here now and this is goes uh, all the way around the uh, outside of the polytunnel that used to be a path I definitely can't walk there now but I need to get that nettle out and uh, anybody who uh, saw uh, my parsnips maybe you didn't see them I can't remember now but they uh, they are looking quite good I didn't show any show any of these at Malvern but uh, they're definitely nice uh, on the Sunday dinner uh, all the celery was a complete flop literally not growing celery again green manure I'm very very tempted to uh, chop and drop some of this leave it a bit longer chop and drop it and then uh, I can cover it like we did those uh, that we uh, added uh, manure as a comparison I was thinking well over the winter if I all that guttering if I stack it right it'll uh, fill uh, this up and then I can put it into the other containers and uh, well as you've seen we've all, we've had that much now but this is the amount of water we've had uh, since well a couple of three weeks so it, it is well worth um, collecting as much as you can even if it's in just buckets so we've done that bed exactly like this bed but we've got the courgette uh, zucchini here I've got to put the last bit of manure in there and top it off but look at the amount of weeds there to what we've got there and uh, the uh, once the cardboard gets wet enough the water does get through and uh, it just protects all the uh, the worms and all the creatures that are helping to make our beds uh, ready for the spring or when we decide to plant I say again more green manure and it's done really well so oh, I might chop and drop that and cover it all uh, I bought as much cocoa koi over as I could as you've seen in my bins on plot plot uh, one and there's the compost or whatever material it is with the perlighting uh, is my homemade compost it's sunk slightly so I'll bring a bit more across and as soon as the asparagus dies back we'll use the rest of that leaf mould from uh, what we did uh, last year uh, to uh, give them a good mulch so the oprea yeah, it's going good ones uh, the walking onions they're just uh, coming up now and uh, these not the second sowing but the second planting of uh, courgettes uh, they're, uh, they're they're giving slowly but surely um, what happened was I left them in the pots didn't plant them out so it looks like that's uh, what I might do again next year the carrot that I've saved for seed I know it's an F1 but uh, it's uh, drying out nicely and you might be able to see in the bottom there uh, it's either seed or chaff no, I'm not sure but uh, We'll let that continue and see what carrots we get from that. I still haven't sorted all the bulbs out. They might end up stopping in there. Unless they start sprouting. Uh, this tank's uh, full. That's full. 
just see it in the middle of the screen there, that little line. That's as high it gets before it overflows, but what I normally do is undo that, fill this up, so that we don't waste any. This is full and overflowing. Uh, we didn't use any out this tank this year, but I do need to pump some, some up, up and over into that one, so we've got plenty of water for next year to um, wash my veggies in my uh, washing area. And that's where we collect the dirty water. So nothing goes to waste, it all goes back on the beds. And the job I've got to do, lots and lots of jobs, October, November, December. These peas need to uh, go out. Uh, some of these tomatoes um, have died back now. I stopped watering to stop the tomatoes splitting, but then sometimes you think, should I give them a drop of water? But as soon as you do, they split. This is all emptied out. These will have giant veg in next year. Uh, there's my second place Malvern carrot. Uh, there's the same variety and then there's the Marcus Powell that was three kilos and uh, my other carrot there for the show was uh, 3.39 kilos I've got some runners there sitting in water when we took these out took all the best ones and uh, uh, these onions now pushing out similar to what they would in the beds uh, it won't be long before we can plant these and uh, we'll uh, Sorry, Mr. Onion. We'll get those uh, planted once uh, most of them are done, and then we'll know that they're all uh, all viable. And uh, we've still got a few tomatoes here and there to take, uh, as and when I can get up. So I'm all fit and well. Um, I just need. Uh, a bit of uh, me time so that I can concentrate on uh, getting everything right and I'll share things with you if I need to if not I'll catch you again at the beginning of November happy gardening to you all till next time my friends draw for now